Yo, what's up boys? It's Ojoys coming at you with another Valorant video and in today's video, this one singular Sova trick will save you rounds. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh Alright guys, so let me introduce you to the idea. Basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to stop the enemy's defuse before it happens if it's a last minute defuse. What you're doing is you are reducing the amount of time the enemy has effectively to defuse by about five to seven seconds, depending on how skilled you are. So today I'm gonna provide you with some numbers. When you plant the spike from plant to detonation, it is 45 seconds and it takes exactly seven seconds to defuse, which means you have 38 seconds after the spike is planted to get to the site and start defusing. But what if you could somehow cut this short? Well, it turns out you can. So as Sova, you can actually use a shock dart to defend the spike. And it would be most logical to shoot it directly up into the air, right? Well, sort of. When you shoot it up into the air and you use two bounces, it takes 17-ish seconds to go off, which is great, except there's no easy way to time that. So you're either forced to count the beeps after you plant the spike, or you could do it this way. So what you do is you face the ground, fully draw your bow, and then give it one bounce. Now this doesn't seem like much of a difference because you're just shooting it down into the ground and it's just bouncing back up. So why not just shoot it straight up? But for some reason, it almost doubles the amount of time that the arrow spends in the air, which conveniently is exactly how much of a difference we need to get the arrow to land on the bomb exactly at the time you need to start defusing to get the last second to fuse. So right when you think the spike is about to start beeping faster, fully notch your bow, look at the ground, and stand over it. Then give your arrow one bounce. After that, draw again and fire as soon as you get to max velocity while giving it one bounce. This causes your first arrow to detonate on the five second mark and your second arrow to detonate on the two and a half second mark. So while it can't always get them off before they defuse, it at least gives them less time to defuse and especially less if they're on low health. And while you may be thinking, but Phoenix is the perfect counter to this, Phoenix can heal himself while he's defusing. Yes, except when Phoenix takes damage, his healing stops and he has to leave and re-enter the AOE of his healing abilities to continue to receive the healing. The only counter to this is to have a Sage teammate who's ready to heal you when you go to defuse. Otherwise, this is just a free 5 seconds off of the defuse time for anyone who is remotely damaged, and a free 2 seconds if it's a last minute defuse, guaranteed, no matter who it is. Well, anyhow, if you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want more Valorant tips and tricks. Anyhow, that's all for me today, boys. I'm out. Peace. Last player standing. Oh my god, he just collateraled you guys. One enemy remaining.